Hello guys and welcome to Quest Point YouTube channel. Myself Gurunatha and definitely you guys must have seen the title of this video. Guys, Power BI is one of those doors from which you can enter into the IT industry very easily. Yes, you have to work out for Power BI too. But when compared with the programming or scripting or app building, then our Power BI is far easy to work and enter. Because here there is no need to know the programming or scripting language. Yes. So guys, from the top it looks very easy to enter into the Power BI field. But frankly speaking, many Power BI developers fails to crack the technical round. Why is it like that so? So, as we know, nowadays the company needs the super employee who does the multitasking and knows the multiple technologies and even just knowing the Power BI it will not help you because an interviewer in technical round a senior Power BI expert will not just ask you the questions related to Power BI but also on other topics which are required for Power BI jobs. So here in this video I am going to tell you the 5 important points based on the topics which will surely help you to crack the technical round of Power BI. And trust me guys, if you follow these 5 points, just 5 points, you can crack any company's Power BI job very easily. No matter you are a fresher or experienced guy, I request you to watch this video completely before going for a Power BI interviews. Really this video will help you to crack your Power BI interview. Now let's get start with our point number one. As the Power BI is all about doing the data analysis and data presentation. So definitely guys you need to know its data warehousing part two. That is the mother of all databases SQL Server. So the point number one you must know SQL Server along with the TSQL. This is the point number one very important point. If you don't know the SQL server and writing the SQL queries also, then definitely you cannot apply for the Power BI job. SQL server is like a base foundation for Power BI jobs. You should know SQL server in and out with the proper writing queries. Along with this, you should also know how to create the databases in SQL server, how to create the tables in SQL server, how to write the store procedures, how to write the functions, how to do the normalization, how to do the denormalization. You should know how to write the SQL joins. So let me just write it over here. Yes, you should have a knowledge of inner join, left join, right join. You should have a knowledge of object explorer. You should have a knowledge of how to write views. You should have a complete knowledge of SQL server end to end. Because Power BI is all about doing the data analysis and data presentation playing with the data. So if you don't know the SQL server, if you don't know how to write the TSQL and guys, if you're not answering the SQL server question and answers properly with the proper technical words, then definitely it will create a negative impact in the interviewer's mind that you don't know the base of the database also. And to have a Power BI job, you should have a strong database skills. So I request you guys that answer each and every questions of SQL Server properly with the proper technical words. So I request you guys that prepare for the SQL interview question and answer series before going to a Power BI job. Okay guys, so this is all about the point number one. So hey guys, if you are liking the content of our video, then show us your love by liking our video. And if you are new to our channel, then please subscribe to our channel. Because your one like and one subscribe keep us motivated to create more technical videos on Power BI and on other technologies. So if you find this video useful then share this video with your friends or with your colleagues. So now let's get back to our video and let's talk about our point number two. Point number two you should have a knowledge of a business intelligence tool that is Microsoft Business Intelligence Tool. So let me just write it over here. So why should I have a knowledge of a business intelligence tool? 
let's understand with a scenario so before doing a data analysis we need to organize the raw data and dump this raw data into the data warehouse means what suppose if you are doing the data analysis for any food good company which is spread across the various countries then definitely you can expect lot of data from various countries so for example let's suppose from india you will get let's say a text file from let's say from australia you will get a csv file and from us let's say you will get a excel file okay so yes now as you can see that we got the data of the same food court company in the different format over here here it is in the text file here it is in a csv file here it is in an excel file right so definitely this data will come with lot of data related or format related issues so before doing the data analysis we need to solve all this format problem and do the data transformation do the data type transformation definitely when the data type will come from the text file it will be different from the csv again it will be different from the excel again it will be different so first we have to do the data type transformation make it uniform so that we can dump this all this transform data into this data warehouse so let me write it over here so there you go so in our case sql server is our data warehouse so once we transform all this data we can dump this data into our data warehouse now to do this entire process we need a bi tool so that's why we have ms bi that is microsoft business intelligence tool with ms bi integration services we can easily extract the data transform the data and finally load the data that is the transform properly transform data we can load it to the data warehouse so in an interview you can expect lot of questions related to ms bi so prepare for ms bi interview question and answer series especially for ssis so let me write it over here so especially for ssis and ssrs ssis again the integration services tool and ssrs is a reporting services tool okay and also learn more about etl tools dimensions facts measures star schema snowflakes cubes multi dimensional tabular report okay guys so prepare for all this and prepare for msbi interview question and answer series before going for power bi interviews now let's move on and let's talk about point number 3 guys point number 3 knowing the power bi end to end so let me write it over here point number 3 power bi with the power query with the dax with the visualization with the power bi services so you should know the power bi end to end means what just knowing the visualization and creating the presentation will not help you guys you need to know the power bi end to end that is a power bi is based on the four pillars as you can see here right so you need to have a proper knowledge of power query that is a power query functions like append merge removing duplicates parameters m functions and there are like thousands of m functions categorized as per text number date string table excel and so on and then we have a dax which will again help us to unleash the power of power bi and help us in doing the data analysis so prepare for the dax functions which are categorized into logical arithmetic time intelligence table string and many more and also what is calculated measure what is calculated columns tables relationships what if parameter and so on so once you done with the dax then finally visualization with the visualization types like table slicer bar chart line chart and so on and finally the power bi services knowing the dashboard knowing the role level security knowing the data gateways publishing the reports to the power bi services and so on so i request you guys that prepare for power bi interview question and answer series end to end because you are applying for a power bi job 
you should have an end to end knowledge of power bi okay now let's move on to our point number 4 let's talk about point number 4 now guys point number 4 this point i will not stress you more but if you can prepare it it will be very great guys that is knowing azure cloud services so let me just write it down here as our point number 4 there you go see i am not expecting that you should know the azure cloud services entirely but like for example we have az900 which covers the basics of azure we have azure data factory which is a cloud based etl and data integration services tool to create the workflows for moving and transforming the data we have azure data lakes for analysts to store the data of any size shape speed and do all types of processing and analytical across the platforms and languages so we have uh, azure analysis services for creating cubes so for applying the power bi job you should have a basics of azure knowledge like we have just spoken right now that is the az900 azure data factory azure data lakes and if you can cover the dp900 also yes it will be very great but we don't need to cover the azure cloud services entirely we just need to focus on these points only because if a interviewer will ask you the questions related to azure then he is going to ask you related to this points only that is azure basics az900 dp900 or he will ask you about data factory or data lakes so this is only the role you guys have to play in the azure cloud services there is no need to know more about azure cloud services extra so if you mention the azure cloud services in your resume definitely it will create a great impact because you will become a preferred choice for an interviewer to select because you know the azure and now every company is moving towards the cloud services so they need a candidate who has a prior knowledge of azure cloud services so definitely i request you guys that please prepare for azure cloud services hence i have added this point as our point number 4 okay so this is optional but this is very important point if you can add this part in your resume you will have your job as a power bi guy Now let's talk about our final point that is our point number 5 prepare for tableau so this is our point number 5 again this is again a visualization tool and this is again a optional but yes if you know this uh, optional also it will create a great impact in your resume in your interview because it is very booming in the market so interviewer can ask you few questions on this expect you to have a little knowledge on tableau tableau software is again a visualization tool that help us to make the big data small and small data insightful and actionable it is very powerful and fastest growing data visualization tool in bi market so interviewer or company can expect you to have a knowledge on tableau so request you guys that read more about tableau and prepare for tableau interview question and answers just focus on tableau interview question and answers only because it's very easy and it is again a visualization tool it's okay if you don't know entire tableau but at least if you can answer little questions it will be very great so this is all about the point number 5 so hey guys these are the five points which you need to remember before going for power bi interviews Now you guys must be wondering that how to get all this interview question and answers videos on the topics which we have just covered right now in this video. So you guys must be thinking like from where to get all this material. So guys let me guide you from here. Just visit our website that is www.questpond.com. So this is our URL you can see that. Just visit our website and here you will find the sql videos you can see that here you can find azure videos that is fundamental videos we have like power bi videos you can see that we have tableau videos we have msbi videos so here you can see that yes 
we have all the videos along with the interview question and answer series yes we have all the material with the frequently asked interview question and answers and you can simply buy this videos from our website there is a buy option here you can see that just buy it from here start preparing 10 15 days before going for a power bi interview so that you can cover all these topics whatever the five points which we have spoken in this video we also have free videos in case if you want to see the quality of our videos yes we do have our free videos on our youtube channel and links of those videos i will provide in the below description box of this video you can watch it and decide to go for more videos to go for this buy now option or not so i will leave this to your personal choice and requirement so guys thank you very much for watching this videos and in case if you have any queries or any doubts regarding the power bi interview feel free to post your doubts in the below comment section of this video i will be very happy to personally answer your doubts and queries thank you very much guys and happy job hunting